Well, this depends on the day of the transfer. So if you have a day three or, or a day five, a day three, uh, we should expect an eight cells uh, embryos. And the eight cells is are graded uh, according to the shape, the fragmentation, and uh, the compactness of the uh, cells. So each clinic has got their own grading system, uh, but some universal are like, if we have like eight AA, that's the best thing that the number is right, the uh, number eight, and then uh, they are good quality and no fragmentation. In the uh, blastocyst uh, stage, it depends on also the cavitation, how the uh, inner cell mass is uh, compacted or not, is there any fragmentation in it or not, uh, and how is the shape of the blastocyst. So we are aiming for something called like 4AA as well. So we only transfer a good quality embryos to a lesser quality embryos means 4AA to 4BB. Uh, anything like less quality embryos, including like C and Ds, they are not considered as sustainable with prolonged cryopreservation, for example. So that's why, like when even if you have a um, say, for example, like uh, four or five embryos uh, extra to cryopreserve, you will find that the embryologist is assessing them according to the grading, and they will tell you that. Maybe we'll need to freeze only one or two or three, uh, depending on the quality. We do not uh, freeze or cryopreserve embryos of a lesser quality because we know that the survival rate after the thawing is the problem. They do not survive as good quality embryos. It's not that because we, we do not want to cryopreserve them, but it's because uh, statistically they are not uh, amenable for uh, uh, survival after the thawing procedure. Uh, so you can appreciate that this will give you as well the highest chance of getting pregnant rather than giving you false hope into waiting uh, maybe uh, uh, for something which is of very low uh, percentage rate of uh, having a success after uh, an embryo transfer.